Welcome back to the gun dungeon, guys. So a couple weeks ago, I did a heavy bone test with nine millimeter, 147 grain plus P underwood ammunition, and the beef ribs were frozen in it. Now I got a lot of comments talking about how the frozen ribs were maybe made it a little bit more brittle. Uh, the temperature and them being frozen affected the, the outcome of the test. So I have another set of beef ribs here today, and these are not frozen. These are quite thaw. Matter of fact, they are sink hot water temperature. So fairly warm, actually. Kind of weird feeling them. But anyways, what we're going to do today is I'm going to put the 147 grain hard cast through that set of beef ribs again so that we can see how the temperature affected the performance in the last one versus this video. So you'll have to go watch that video if you haven't to know exactly what we're looking for with the first part of the video. Then secondly, what I'm gonna do is take this 115 grain full metal jacket round and we're gonna put this through it as well and see if there's much of an advantage between the two, a hard cast or just a standard old ball round full metal jacket. This is a Fiocchi round, so it is a little bit warmer compared to most target rounds in my experience. So it's it's got a little bit of, little bit of oomph to it for a full metal jacket range round, but let's see how they do. We'll go ahead and get set up here. I will put the 147 grain Underwood bullet through the ribs first, and we'll see how that one does, and then move to the uh, full metal jacket. I'm gonna use the same gun that we did last time, the P365XL, not too short, not too long, kinda in the middle of the road there for barrel length. So. We're gonna be using this for both both rounds. Let's go ahead and start with the 147 grain Underwood. All right, guys, so we hit bone. It was on the edge of the bone, but we definitely hit bone. You see lots of bone fragment out right here. So we definitely hit bone there. Oh yeah, solid, solid hit on that. And we got our tape measure up here. There's our bullet. And this one is sitting right at about 14 and a half inches. Sitting right at the bottom there. You can see it curved down. It might have impacted the table, but if it did, it was right at the end here. So it didn't, didn't affect it too much. We'll dig that out and take a look after we get done here. But it kind of looks like you got some nose deformation, kind of like the uh, third shot or final shot in the other video. So looks like similar performance from this one and the third shot. So let's try that full metal jacket now. Y'all be sure to go over and check out Vetter Holsters. They're a big sponsor of the channel. Helped me out quite a bit. So y'all get over there and help them out as well. Here's one of their outside the waistband models. Awesome design. They have about any design you can think of. They're also one of the few companies that I've seen making holsters like this with the claw attachment inside the waistband model that fits the Glock 29 and the 10 millimeter versions of the XDMs. So if you have a gun, they probably make a holster for it. Check out Vetter. Y'all be sure to go check out Target Sports US say they're a big sponsor of the channel now and if you use my link below you're going to get a free gift at checkout with your purchase their ammo plus membership is a great value if you shoot very much at all through the year it's going to pay for itself in no time and then some be sure to check out target sports usa all right that top hole is our full metal jacket hit clean hit on the bone definitely tore some bone out there looks pretty similar to me Check this out, guys. Look at that. We're almost, we actually got a little bit more penetration from the full metal jacket load, 115 grainer. Little bit more. Oh, wow. I really kind of was not expecting that, but let's go ahead and try this hollow point hand load. This is 124 grain spear, or not spear, 124 grain SIG V crown. It's the Sierra bullet. This is a hand load, load of fairly warm, but let's see how that hollow point does. So guys, I completely screwed up and lost the clip that I just did showing you this stuff. And this is the hollow point hole right here. This is the entry. A uh, lot of damage out the back. You can see there, 
carrying some meat into this block. Definitely expanded. Look at all that chunk there. You can see all of this wound tract right here. I'm hoping you can see where the bullet stopped because I dug it out already. I dug it out right here. I've already dug all three of them out because I thought I had it on camera already, but I didn't. But that's where the hollow point stopped, 12 and three quarter inches. That's where the full metal jacket was. And right there is where the hard cast was. I apologize that my camera messed up there and did not record the last clip, but it is what it is. We got 12 and three quarter from the hollow point, And then you saw the others before. Here are the bullets. This is the hard cast. Definitely took some damage there on that bone. That's the full metal jacket. Really looks kind of similar. Jacket started to break right there on that side, but held together fairly well. And here is our SIG V-Crown hollow point. So that's what we got there. Man, I really hate that I uh, messed that clip up, but uh, the hollow point wasn't really even supposed to be in this video anyways. So just take that as a little bit of extra if you want. But guys, I don't know. I don't know that you're gonna get much advantage from this hard cast than you would just this standard full metal jacket. And you gotta to remember too, this is 115 grain and this is 147 grain plus P. So, you know, maybe if this was 147 grain full metal jacket, we would've got even more penetration. Who knows? Maybe we got less. You never can tell with bullets a lot of times, but this may be something that uh, we look further to in the future, testing some full metal jackets against some hard cast, maybe even do some 44 Magnum stuff, 357 Magnum stuff, get up there where, you know, really getting some oomph and see if there's a difference as opposed to just a lowly nine millimeter. But anyways, that's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay tuned.